In November 2021, Aston Villa made the appointment of Steven Gerrard, former Liverpool legend who during the season prior went 38 games unbeaten, with Rangers winning the league title for the first time in 10 years, only conceding 13 times across the league season. With Aston Villa attaining one of the hottest prospects in football management, Villa became one of the most promising teams in the Premier League, leaving everyone wondering how successful they could become. However, after just 11 months in charge, he was sacked from his position at Villa following a 3-0 loss to Fulham, ending his stint at the club with 13 wins from 40 matches, with Aston Villa sitting in 17th, just 3 points off last. With the club keen to minimise the impact of Steven Gerrard's poor start to the season, they employed a manager who not only had experience managing in the Premier League before, but also won the Europa League a few seasons prior and took Villarreal to the semi-finals of the Champions League last season. They employed the Europa League's most decorated manager, Unai Emery. Following his reintroduction to the Premier League, Unai Emery has taken his team to 7th, pushing for European places. During this period, only Arsenal and Manchester City have picked up more points than the Spaniard, which raises the question, how has Unai Emery saved Aston Villa? The contrasts between Gerrard and Emery are massive, and truly display the difference between an average coach and an elite one. Not only has Unai Emery increased the amount of goals scored, he's also decreased the amount of goals against, using a tactic which favours the best of both worlds. A 4-4-2 formation with key adjustments to optimise Villa's performance. When building out from the back, both of the wide midfielders drop into narrower positions to receive the ball and play the attackers. If the fullback pushes up to mark the wide midfielder, space is left in behind for strikers to move into, but if the fullback resists the temptation to mark him and stays alongside the defenders, the midfielder is now given time and space to receive the ball in turn. In situations like these, the striker drifts wide in order to pull the fullback wider, which therefore gives the midfielder space he can use to progress the attack and create attacking opportunities. When defending, the team do so with 5 defenders, with one of their wide players dropping in deep to support the rest of the defence, and consistently push up to force the opposition to play backwards. In some cases, the fullback presses the opposition's wide player which means the closest defensive midfielder will drop into a back 6 in order to fill the gaps in the backline. These tactics have improved Villa massively, and taken them from relegation contenders to challenging for Europe. But it's not just down to the tactics. Several players are overperforming in comparison to when Gerrard was manager, including English striker Ollie Watkins, who's been involved in 16 goals already this season, including goals against Arsenal, Man City, Liverpool and Chelsea. Since Emery's arrival, Aston Villa have scored in every single match, securing victories against Manchester United, Tottenham, Chelsea and Brighton, showing how much they've improved. However, a season isn't based on half a season's work. There are still 9 games for Aston Villa to heroically secure European football next season, and if they want to reach their goals, they need to perform at their highest level until the season's over. By the end of May, Emery could potentially become one of Villa's greatest managers, purely due to how he's handled the situation and given them back the smile they've lacked for so long.